In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the procedural radial wheel menu into your project. First, we're going to open the fab page of the asset. I'm going to leave a link in the description. We're going to click on Viewing Launcher. This is going to open up the Epic Games Launcher. We're going to scroll down till we see the fab library. We're going to type for Procedural Radial Wheel Menu. We're going to click Add to Project. We are going to choose our project and click Add to Project. Now open up your project. I'm using the third person template. You are going to find your character. Or you can also add it to the player controller if you want. But in this case I'm going to choose the character. We are going to add the radial wheel AC actor component. Now we need to add a key, an input mapping in order to actually open the, the the wheel. In this case it's already set up. I might make a video in the future about how to use the enhanced input system but for now we're gonna use this. You can also just create a a keyboard event but I'm going to show you how to implement it with the enhanced input system so I'm going to find the mapping context of the third person template we have the, the actions here we can create a new one input action IA open radio wheel we are going to open this and choose the digital ball value type save it now in the mapping context we are going to add our input action that we created and we can add some keys i'm gonna add a tab key for the keyboard and we can also add a, a gamepad one save it we need to create the enhanced input action here so search for the IA radial wheel we should find the event yeah this name should match the one of the action you created so now we're going to drag a reference from the radial wheel AC into our graph we're going to drag off this reference and search for show radial wheel and we're going to connect this to started now drag off this pin again we're going to search for hide radial wheel and we're going to choose the completed pin and connect it this way it's gonna open when we press and close when we release the key let's press play press tab as you can see the radial wheel opens of course we don't have any slot right now so it's not gonna select anything but we're gonna set it up so now let's set up some slots so we can see the functionality we're gonna click on radial wheel ac scroll down till you see slots and here we have an array of all the slots available in the hard wheel you can have as many as you want but in this case we're gonna just change the first one and the settings we have are the slot style the slot active style i'm going to explain this to later when we go over styles the scaling we can scale the slot to be for example bigger than the other ones if we set this to three the first slot is gonna be bigger than the other ones you can have different scaling for each slot then the is active you should keep this to false unless you want for example a default active slot but usually keep it to false because it's gonna change then when we select a slot the has item you need to set this to true if you want to show an item in the slot I'm gonna change it to true the item name i'm gonna just create a a pistol item for example we have in the demo some some icons I'm going to set the size 
we can change the transform of the icon we can change the info text this is going to show below the the icon so we can show for example the ammo we have and we can change the transform as well for the info text now if we press play we're going to have a pistol slot now i have picked these slots so we can have more items like this this is gonna also be included in the demo so you can find that in the folder of the asset but at least we have some items to work with so now i'm going to show you the these two settings the mouse distance dead zone and the gamepad stick dead zone for example we have the, the mouse distance dead zone to 100 so in this case i need to move my cursor 100 units away from the 100 pixel away from the center to activate slots if we change that to let's say 150 i'm gonna need to move it more to select items same thing goes for the stick dead zone this is gonna affect the gamepad in this case it's gonna be a zero to one value zero means when you don't move the stick one means when you have the stick all the way to the edge now let's go over the events that are available in the component we're gonna scroll all the way down we have the on wheel opened event it's gonna fire of course when the when the wheel opens we have the on wheel closed we have the on selection changed so this is gonna fire when you select slots i'm gonna show you what that means with a quick debug we can take the slot data this is gonna be the same as the slots here this is just gonna be the select the currently selected slot we're gonna take the name and print it so i can show you when this fires and play so you can see when i change so of course it's gonna print none but we can check first if it's a valid slot and then print in this case we're gonna do this with a branch compile save and now it's gonna trigger only when we select a valid slot the last event it's go is gonna be the on active slot changed this is gonna fire when we close the wheel and when the like we close the wheel and the selected slot is different from the previous active slot so for example i'm going to remove this copy this over and print when the active slot changes so you can see the difference compile save nothing happens right now we have the knife active i have selected that as default active for example i'm going to choose the pistol and it's gonna print the pistol name and of course it's now it's active the rifle is active the sniper is, is active we can use this for example to do something like a something that is switching weapons so we can take the name switch on name and add the weapons we have for example we have a, a pistol we have a knife we have a rifle we have a sniper here you would then create the logic to change weapon for example if we select the pistol we can then print a keep pistol we select the knife a keep knife and this is gonna work you can see we didn't implement the rifle so nothing's gonna happen for the rifle but for the knife it's gonna equip the knife hopefully this makes sense now i'm going to show you how to create a style and select it in the slots so let's go over to the asset folder into styles 
Here we already have some that you can use, but we're gonna create our own. We're gonna right click on the content browser, go to miscellaneous and select data asset. Then search for style. We're going to select radial wheel slot style. Select. I'm gonna call it my style, for example. And here we have a lot of settings to just tweak how the slot looks. Then after you adjust all these settings, we can go back to the character. We can then select the slot style. Of course, we can create a variant for the... We're gonna duplicate this. My style active. We're gonna just make, for example, the color different. Just, just so you can see the difference. And we're going to select that here as well. And I'm going to choose those styles for each and every slot. Okay, I have updated all the slots. We can press play. And now, as you can see, we have a new style. Of course, I didn't change much. This is just the default. You can find more information about all these settings in the documentation. It goes over pretty much everything. If you need help with anything or you have any questions, you can either leave a comment under this video or you can join my Discord. I'm gonna leave a link for that in the description.